<laughs> All right, Esper one, Esper went, Esper is what we play, but it's not, it's not like counter everything, do nothing, Esper control. It's gonna be drawing a lot of cards and doing a lot of big swingy turns. It's hopefully gonna be fun for you guys. Do, 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 do. Let's see how long it takes to build decks this way. I would usually run Fragmentize, but since nobody's even playing Kaladesh cards so far, let alone either Revolt cards, like no vehicles whatsoever, I'm going to leave it out. Alright, I think maybe I run this. It's hard to recall, but I'll figure it out. I definitely run these. Oh yeah, all the Expertise. <laughs> all the Expertise. That's why I call it uh, Espertise, is my silly uh, name for the deck. There we go. Let's arrest some Thopters, shall we? Do, 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 do. Scrolling, scrolling, and Gideons. 18 Gideons. It's a requirement. I don't think Avacyn made the cut. I think it actually had a pretty low curve for that. And I don't... Uh, I'm trying to remember if Limvala was in there. We'll throw her down for now. But this is... Yeah, this is a deck I'm much more excited about than the... Like, I was excited for a short-ish period of time for the deck, um, the blue-black artifact deck. But... Man, making that thing work has been so hard, and I'm not done by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to come back, I'm going to give it my best shot, but man, that deck has... It's its so frustrating, because the first few games I played with it, those draws were so good, and since then have been so bad. So, like, the worst. Alright. Um... <laughs> scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. I think this is actually faster than filtering with the way that they made the filtering. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but I do have an idea of exactly where I want to go here. Lots of card drawing. That is a necessity. Lots and lots of drawing of the cards. <laughs> and uh, some gear hulking. Are we going to see a sky whale? Nope. Nope, too many too many good finishers. Like finishers are just better than the Sky Whale, so it doesn't it doesn't win the spot yet. It just can't. It's too hard. Too much competition. I don't remember how many I'm supposed to play. I'm just gonna put in two for now and see what happens. Nothing unlocked yet. Bunch of coins spent to jumpstart progress. What is the best? Uh, which sets in order to prioritize for purchase? Well, the chat's going to have an opinion on that. And please, everybody in chat who wants to help out the orange pet, sound off. But my answer is going to be a total cop-out. Uh, my answer is it depends. <laughs> depends on your taste as a player. Depends on your taste as a dueler and what you want to do. Um, the Zendikar block is great if you love ramp. Origins great if you love Thopters. So is Kaladesh. Uh, is great if you love vehicles. Um, shadows. I mean, what's the what are the key archetypes from Shadows? Somebody help me out. I'm I'm blanking. I mean, I guess werewolves. Shadows is a little all over the place. <laughs> but someone help me out there. What's the key archetypes in Shadows? There's your expertise. Okay, wife just wanted to say a few words. She's going to bed, so I have to slow my vocal roll. Uh, I think I was trying this in the deck even without artifacts. <laughs> Sacrilege, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care. It's it's release night. Let's have some fun. 
Um, what are we at? We're at 36 cards, so I think that I hit the nail right on the head. One, two, three, four planeswalkers. Probably not enough to rock. Um, not enough to rock Heart of Cure, and I don't think. And making Oath of Jace a little eh. I think we'll go get another Read the Bones. As that gets you deeper, lets you set up a little better. Uh, oh yeah, we need the blue expertise. SOI was vamp CGBU casual. What? <laughs> uh, I would say go in order like that. If you want to net decks, you'll have options. Yeah, that's true. Then you can go back and net deck some Origins decks off NGA and run it that way. I think we got too many sixes. Um, one more cut is probably... Oh yeah, I'm supposed to run the white expertise. What am I doing? My brain no worky. Yeah, it did run all the expertises. So. Nope, not imprisoning nothing in the moon. I hate that card. Giving the opponent a land, and then when they remove it, they get their thing back. Terrible card. My opinion. Uh, so, Tezzy, you gotta go. Sorry. <laughs> Tezzy Tez. Maybe I'm supposed to run one Thopter Arrest. Maybe I'm not supposed to run Declaration in Stone. I definitely want Blessed Alliance. It kind of it levels out... Um, it levels out Read the Bones. So we'll go to one Grasp, and we'll go to one Declaration. So how's our removal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight early removals, which is where I want to be in Smuggler Copter world. Although they don't all hit Copter, but then up here at this spot, we have one, two, three more that do. Uh, two more that do. Uh, Lily, Kalitas, Expertise, and Brawls, and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. no other set alone will give you a good deck. He says, uh, the current meta from one set, Vehicles and Gruel Energy. So, he's saying Kaladesh. Okay. Not wrong, and those are both probably better decks than others. Ulamog is out there, man. Uh, let's count the ways I have to kill an Ulamog, even though I haven't seen one in a long time. Declaration Stone... Thopter Arrest will do it. We don't have Anguish on making. Probably need to get that in here. And that's probably better than Oath of Liliana. The deck isn't as Planeswalker-centric as I expected it to turn out to be. So let's do that. Let's go grab the Anguish on making, which I somehow missed. Fastest way is probably this way. And again, we have Blessed Alliance to try to even out the life loss. We'll see if we have enough of that kind of action. We took out Limvala. That kind of bothers me. Kalitaz is here. We have too many fours. Um, I guess now we have four ways to exile an Ulamog, so maybe Declaration isn't that important. So maybe we can get Limvala back. I do feel like I need another over-the-top type play. I feel like I'm just a little short. I've done uh, several builds of this already, but I, I like just trying to build it all over again from scratch and recreate my whole thought process if I can. And let's see, Thopter Arrest does not combo with Brawl. So is there a change there that we need to make? Grasp doesn't really either. A lot of other things do. A lot of other things do. So let's try to up the spells and let's try to work on the Baral Synergy. That mean I want to run like a Gideon's Reproach? 
Uh, hitting artifacts yonder. It's a vehicle thing, but we haven't played against any. And we probably won't tonight, to be honest. Why is that not... Oh. Weird. I also don't necessarily love the Declaration in Stone card advantage conundrum, but doesn't mean it's wrong. Uh, so with that, I'm going to try... I don't think that this will be optimal against vehicles. I'm going to say that right away um, with the way that I'm building it. But for opening night uh, in an unestablished metagame where we haven't seen a vehicle deck yet, I think it's okay. If you're going to optimize it for vehicles, I think you want Thopter Arrest. You probably want Fragmentize. Um, you may or may not... Well, you probably want Baral, but maybe even you want Solemn Offering in that case, you know what I mean? Uh, Grasp may, may still be a card to play. Trying to optimize it for Baral is interesting, but it does restrict some things that you'd want to do, like Grasp and uh, Thopter Rest, so maybe cutting Baral is right. But I want to play with it. It is day one. So, all right. Um, I'm going to spin it like this. You see, we're not countering things. We're drawing a bunch of cards. We're killing a bunch of stuff. We're playing Expertise, hopefully using Brawl to ramp them. And then we're uh, smashing our opponents with some over-the-top type plays. So, we're going to see what happens. Now, let's put in the land. We need the land. Let's not leave the house without pants on. We want all the wilds because we have the revolt triggers to think about with Fatal Push. We're going to run the Aether Hubs because we have Glimmer of Genius, though we might go down to two. Yeah, I feel you're lacking a sweeper. Nope, we got expertise, so I don't think that we're going to need them. All right, do we need to trim any dual lands? I really think that would be a mistake. So I'm going to trim one Aether Hub as it's only good because Glimmer. And if we don't draw it, it's pretty yeah. And um, we'll try it like this. So not tuned, but definitely the kind of deck I want to play. <laughs> Oops. I forgot to customize. What's wrong with me? Losing my touch. Don't you love it when you think you're out of soda, but you shake your pop can, and there's still a little bit left? Mmm. <laughs> All right. Who's our persona today? Feels like a Jace deck, doesn't it? But nah, I'm going with Emrakul. She's just awesome. I really want to scare the bejesus out of my opponents. Just terrify them with that Emrakul sleeve. And, um... We're going to go with the bridge. Expertise. All right. Let's go get that Renown deck. I want to play that Renown deck. I want to rematch. <laughs> my, my pride is hurt. Dang it. All right. You're going to lose to Angelic Purge, calling it now. I don't know what it is you think they're going to purge. <laughs> it doesn't even touch my planeswalkers. <laughs> uh, if they're turn three purging my Baral, I'm doing great. <laughs> Renown plus counter synergy. Now that might be a thing, and I'm looking for it. But our last opponent, it seemed to have nothing outside of, like, Origins. <laughs> like, they even still had Wild Size. <laughs> it was good old Wild Size on your Outland Colossus dot deck the guy that we played against. Somebody gives us 8.5 out of 10 on the pun scale. That's That someone is Gimmick Man. Sorry. You should have your name used. You deserve it. Dustin! XX72. 
I don't actually know him, I don't think. But he's uh, here to give me the business. Land's good, hand's good, on the play. Read the bones isn't too slow, on the play. Let's rock and roll. No fatal push to think about revolting with, and we can go get our black mana. So what you mostly want to do with all these read the bones, telling times, and glimmers is set up your hand with an expertise, an expertise, and an awesome card to play off it so that you can have those big swingy turns that I'm so stoked about. <laughs> Would you mulligan that on the draw? I'd think about it. It's one, it, like, it's a hand that could just lose uh, against the wrong kind of deck on the draw, but I still... Nah, I wouldn't mulligan it on the draw, probably. I'd keep it, and I'd roll the dice. Because even if your opponent is playing super aggressive, you might be able to pull off an awesome expertise turn to save your butt. And this hand so far is turning out oh, beautifully. I'm a little worried about missing land drops, but since next turn I can play Sram's expertise and read the bones... I can probably hit those land drops, so I can keep these. Uh, also, if our opponent takes the turn off to flip their werewolf, we will double spell them next turn and flip it back. How awesome could that be? Oh, please. Please let it be, dear, dear werewolf opponent. Please take the turn off to flip your wolf. Nope. Instead, he's going to Gyre Reach Bandit my face. That's fine. Down to 15. All right, cool. Now, uh, after that, after our Ceram's expertise into Read the Bones, if we have an untapped land, we can Brawl's expertise into Glimmer of Genius. You guys feeling this yet? <laughs> it's refreshing to see werewolves. We still haven't seen an Aether Revolt card from an opponent, though. Here we go. Oh, God. That's really frustrating. I really do want both of these, but I have to hit the land. And I already have two six drops, including one that gains life. So I have to bottom these. That is really frustrating, but it is the way it is. And I hit an untapped land, so I'm feeling it. <laughs> so much card draw. Did you find room for tutelage? Nah. Though it's not, like, there could definitely be an expertise draw with tutelage. There's no doubt that could happen. I wonder why he wouldn't... Oh, I see, because he gets to attack with the with this card anyway. And he doesn't want to trade. And he's got that. And I think that says instant or sorcery, so he gets a wolf if I target it. That's a big boo... But he tapped out. He's got first strike on one of those wolves. I could trade for the other. But I think I'll just make uh, value chumps since I'm about to bounce his board. And I don't know... I think I do want to bounce the Partisan even though he gets a token because he still has to pay three mana to play it again. <laughs> All right. All of you go away. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I never play against that card. That was a really bad play. <laughs> Thank you, Declaration in Stone. I need you. <laughs> that play was horrible. <laughs> oh, man. I never, I never play against that card. <laughs> I deserve this. I deserve what's coming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but don't worry. It'll be okay. I'm going to save my token because I know I've got the Guy Reach Bandit to block in the very near future. <laughs> I hope somebody made a clip of that. All right. Um, so we definitely want four mana open so that we can bless it alliance. But don't worry, everyone. We're okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> I got removed from a party. 
That's what happens when you don't respect the werewolves. Amen. Amen. All right, so this is another Twitch thing. Let's see if the Twitch stream crashes when I try to go uh, adjust a party. Because it used to be if I did this, the stream would crash. So um, we'll do that on my next turn. Opponent might be able to hear me, right? Hopefully they got their music cranked up. Got so many good plays going, though. <laughs> Alright, he's going to keep that because it did awesome things. And since it has Trample, no point in blocking it. We want to defend Soren maybe with our token in the near future. Alright, so let's try to adjust the party and see if Stream goes down. Alright want to do to him. I think it's a Gear Hulk turn. Feeling a Gear Hulk turn. <laughs> Did it go down? Am I out? Can anybody still hear me? Or is Nighthawk just being dramatic? My preview shows I'm still live. Everything says I'm still live to me. All right, good. Ah, here he comes. He's going wide. Going wide. I really do think glimmering is the best way to do it. <clears throat> now he gets to draw a card because he's got that card. But that's fine. Um, I could make him sacrifice a creature and then block the other one. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. He could have a pump spell though. It would kind of give it away if I throw the alliance at him. And I have another glimmer. So I'm actually going to take this card. I think it's a little more conservative. So he's going to get to draw cards because, you know, I don't respect werewolves, but whatever. I get to draw lots of